This is the Brabus 700 and it's a little bit like TikTok. Now let me explain. You see, this is a team version of the Rolls-Royce Ghost and Rolls-Royce itself builds the Ghost as a younger person's alternative to the more sensible Phantom. And this obviously will appeal to an even younger audience, such as me. It's the only time I've ever described myself as young, but you should look at the profile of Rolls-Royce buyers. So you can think of the Rolls-Royce Phantom as being like LinkedIn. The normal Ghost would be Instagram. And you see, this is TikTok. Makes perfect sense, right? Now in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the upgrades to the exterior, the interior, and I'm gonna take it for a drive because Brabus has tuned the engine. It's got a lot more horsepower. So I'll see how quick this car is from 0 to 60 miles an hour, because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. And if you wanna follow us on TikTok, there's a link in the description below. Buy, sell, car wow. Brabus have made a few key changes to this car to just make it look a whole lot more badass. Have you ever seen a spoiler on a Rolls Royce. Look at this, carbon fiber spoiler. You've also got this carbon fiber diffusory thing here, though I don't think it's diffusing much. And quad exhaust pipes, you've got titanium tips. It's a new stainless steel system beyond that. And you've got carbon fiber around the tips themselves. <laughs> it's nuts. Then you've got your Brabus logo there, carbon fiber, the 700 badge in there, the Brabus badge. And everything that was chrome on this car has been taken off and been refitted as shadow chrome, which just looks a whole lot moody looking around there as well. Do you know what? From this angle, because of the diffuser and the exhaust, it sort of looks a little bit like an old Mercedes S-Class AMG. Here at the side, there is more shadow chrome around the windows, the door handles, the lock. Looks lovely. Then you've got Brabus badging here. I'm going to walk all the way down here. It's such a long car. There's a badge there. You notice the monoblock forged 22-inch alloy wheels. Look epic. As standard, the Rolls-Royce Ghost has 20-inch alloy wheels. Also, these wheels, they're fatter. At the rear, you've got 350 millimeter wide tires. Standard cars, 285. They're wide, boys. At the front, the grille is in shadow chrome. And I love the fact that, ow, that hurt. <laughs> but it proves that this is metal. It's good that Rolls-Royce do that, whereas like Bentley and Mercedes Maybach, they have plastic cheaper feeling grills. Now Brabus have also fitted some carbon fiber here and here to the car with this front splitter, the Brabus logo there. They've also fitted little lights in this part where you've got the air intakes. Finally, they've added their Brabus badge to the very front. Got to say, if I had a Rolls Royce Ghost, I'd be taking it straight to Brabus to get all this done because I think it looks epic. But do you agree with me? Put a pinned comment below, get and vote. The shadow chrome theme continues here on the inside. They've got shadow chrome here on the metal air vents around the switches. It's absolutely everywhere. Anything that was shiny chrome is now shadowy chrome. The shadow chrome on the organ stops, you've got shadow chrome around the clock and the Brabus logo there as well. It's not the easiest thing to do. So what they have to do is remove each bit of trim and then they spray paint it with a special clear coat that has the shadowy chrome effect in it. Apparently it's very intricate and sometimes the employers do cock it up and then Brabus have to order a whole new part from Rolls-Royce, which is quite expensive. <laughs> but it's worth it because I love the finish. It just works so well. What doesn't work so well for me is the leather choice that they've chosen for this car. So they completely retrim the interior with leather, right? And you can get different kinds of leather. And in this particular model, they've got a sort of like dimpled leather, which reminds me of the leather you get in Mercedes, which feels a bit weird in a Rolls-Royce, but it does make the cabin feel very, very different. If you don't like it, you don't have to have it. You could have different kinds of leather. You could have Alcantara if you want. Now they've got leather, even in the footwells, and they've also fitted their own lamb's wool carpets. Obviously you get them in a Rolls-Royce, but Brabus wanted to do their own, and yes, they're suitably thick and luxurious. Also, you get some bespoke pedals, which look quite cool, and you've got the Brabus logo illuminated on the footrest. You've also got carbon fiber, on the door sills, once again, illuminated with the Brabus logo, carbon fiber here on the dash. There's also carbon fiber on the steering wheel and on the center boss, you've got the Brabus logo. And if you're wondering what that noise is, it's just because the boots open because I've got the key in my pocket, which they've also trimmed in the leather to match the interior as well. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the boots, Brabus has also trim this completely in leather. It is so luxurious. I quite happily live in here. In fact, I think I might. Ah, bye. You can let me out now. That is proper darkness in there. It's like some kind of cave. 
Here in the back seats, the read trim continues. So you've got the normal Rolls-Royce seats, but they've got this bespoke leather on them. You've got the Brabus logo there, Brabus logo on the soft mm, pillows for the headrest. You've got quilted leather here. There's carbon fiber here, carbon fiber here. And if I open this up to get to the fridge, we have leather that's in orange here though, inside the fridge, they, they haven't really done anything. You've got the same little flutes that you get with the normal ghost. But there's shadow chrome here, shadow chrome here, here on the speaker grills, on the window switches, and of course on the door handle. And I'll show you this, look, I've got the strongest thumb and forefinger. I can open this big heavy door and push it open just using my finger and thumb. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's really tough. That does give me RSI though. Obviously the door's electrically operated, like you can shut it by pressing a button. Hmm. I want to show you this as well, look. Picnic day bells, obviously automated again, but you've got carbon fiber on them and shadow chrome here as well. <laughs> They've basically reworked absolutely everything. It's lovely. So can you guess how much this Brabus 700 is worth? 560,000 pounds, which is more than 300,000 pounds more than the starting price of a normal Rolls-Royce Ghost, which is obviously what you have to buy and then give it to Brabus. If you want to, you can actually have just various bits added on at your local Brabus dealer, such as the shadow chrome and stuff like that. But if you want the interior done, it needs to go to their factory in Germany. Anyway, that brings me to five annoying things about this car. What's going on there? The logo on the centre cap is upside down. On a Rolls Royce, normally they have those centre caps which are always the right way up because they rotate. Brabus has upgraded this car's engine by giving it a bunch more horsepower, but they didn't bother to upgrade the brakes as well. Bit of a shame. Maybe the reason they didn't is because they didn't change the car's electronically limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. Really, if you're paying this sort of money, you kind of want it to be able to go as fast as it possibly can. Brabus may well have shadow chromed the spirit of ecstasy, but it'd be nice if they gave you the option to actually change the ornament if you so desire. What would you put there? I'll probably have something rude. The light coloured dash may seem like a good idea if you like light interiors, but depending on which way you're facing, you can get terrible reflections of it in the windscreen. And you'll see what I mean if I stand up, I disappear. It's not all bad though, because you can have the interior of this Brabus 700 trimmed in whatever colour you want. In fact, you can have it to match your trousers. Though I don't recommend matching it to these kind of trousers. It's a bit intense. The illuminated Brabus logo changes colour as you open the door. Do you see it? Come on then. Brabus has reprogrammed the air suspension so the car sits 20 millimetres lower to the ground than standard for less wheel archage. Normally if you get a tuned car, you invalidate the manufacturer's original warranty. Doesn't matter with Brabus because they provide their own warranty which matches the manufacturer. You might think it a little bit wasteful that Brabus take a perfectly good brand new Rolls Royce interior, rip it all out and then just chuck it away. However, with all those offcuts, they actually give them to local kindergartens so that the kids can use them for craft lessons. The Rolls-Royce Ghost is powered by a 6.75 litre V12 twin turbo with 571 horsepower and 850 newton metres of torque. But Brabus has worked on it, so they've fitted this lovely engine cover. They've also done a piggyback ECU. As a result, power is up to 700 horsepower and 950 newton meters of torque. That means that the 0 to 60 time drops from the 4.9 seconds in the standard car to 4.6 seconds here. But what's the reality? Let's find out. All right, I'm gonna launch the Brabus 700. Got my specialist timing gear up here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's going quicker <laughs> than a Rolls Royce should. And not to 60, 4.17 seconds. That's quicker than they claimed. It feels rude. <laughs> I do like the extra power. I really do. I'm quite taken with this car. I really am. I like the juxtaposition of taking a Rolls Royce and making it sportier. I really do. I, I think it's a great concept. 
And this is not a slow car normally, but that extra power just gives it an edge. There is one thing that I'm not particularly pleased with on this car, and it's the white dash, because it is just reflecting too badly. I'm having to look through this section here and this section here to see where I'm going. <sighs> I've got an idea though. Jack, can you um, pass me one of the mats, which is black, that I can put it on the dash, I can see out. <laughs> I want to go to the autobahn and I, I want the visibility to be perfect. In fact, you're going to have to give me a hand. Just pop that up on the dash, will you? Oh my God, that is just like so much better. <laughs> oh no. If I bought this car from Brabus, I'd be taking it back to them to get the top of the dash retrimmed in a dark colour. Do you know what? That carpet's actually the perfect size for this, really. Maybe that's why you get up. <laughs> oh, it feels lovely. Do you know what? I think we need to get this spirit of ecstasy up, so I'll just raise her before we head out onto the Autobahn. I'm now all set. She's all set. Let's do this. Here we go. Join the Autobahn. Here comes a truck. Doesn't matter though, because I've got 700 horsepower. <laughs> this is too much fun, just having this power in this car. Come on, out the way. Classic. Come on, Audi, what are you doing? I don't think people are quite so used to seeing a Rolls Royce filling their rear view mirror in such an aggressive way. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's pick it up again. <laughs> Though I am very aware of the car's weight when it comes to having to slow down for a car in front. The power builds so well though. You know, the extra 100 newton meters of torque just really, really pushes this thing on. It's so good. I mean, look at that needle climb. <laughs> you know, you get enjoyment from a Rolls Royce just for the way they cruise and they're so comfy, quiet and relaxing. This one gives you all that, plus some bonkers performance. Here we go again, floor it. <laughs> Whoa! Craziness. <laughs> Almost maxed it out. Here we go again. That's the limiter. Woohoo! <laughs> Insane. Yeah. I think if you're going to be doing a lot of that, you would want upgraded brakes. Wow. Never done that in a Rolls Royce before. So then, what's my final verdict on the Brabus 700? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, it's kind of irrelevant, but if I had the money, I would love to be able to buy this car. You see, I like the normal Rolls-Royce Ghost, and while this is quite a lot more expensive, once you start personalizing your Ghost through Rolls-Royce, it gets very expensive anyway. So you may as well do this because it's even more unique. And of course, you benefit from an extra 130 horsepower, which is always a good thing. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think of this car in the comments below. Do you agree with my verdict? Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to get a car out to find out how much your car is really worth. Thanks for watching.